hello everybody, Sasha here again for Orchestral Tools. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the trumpets. We have three individual trumpets here and a trumpet ensemble consisting of three players playing in unison. We have uh, quite a bunch of articulations for all of them. So I think like with the horns, we should start by listening to each of those instruments individually. So let me open up the legato patch here and play a little bit. Similar to the horns, we have slurred and retongued legato for all the trumpets. And we also have vibrato and non-vibrato sustains. So what you just heard was uh, just non-vibrato. Let me play a phrase for you with the vibrato turned on. You can turn it on in the interface or with a controller. And in the multi-patches, you are also able to blend between vibrato and non-vibrato if you want. This was uh, the first trumpet, now let's turn over to the second one. Uh, by the way, the trumpets we recorded are all C trumpets. So the lowest note is the F sharp down here. If you want to emulate a B trumpet and you need the E, uh, you can basically use our range slider here to get down to this note. And you can also extend the upper range if you, if you wish. And now the third trumpet.
Just like the horns, all of the instruments have the same dynamic range, the same tonal range, so you can so you can use a trumpet one, two, or three for solo. You can do any combination you might imagine. And you can also do you can also use the trumpet ensemble, which we will listen to now. Okay, this is as far as those standard legato patches go. For the first and second trumpet, we also have some special bonus patches. So uh, we called them Moto Espressivo Legato. As soon as I start to play you this patch, you will you will know uh, what it is intended for. And uh, also for the second trumpet, we have the same and and some more articulations in this style as well. I want to mention that those patches are really intended as a bonus for the library. Uh, they are recorded with different trumpets, uh, the same players, but different instruments. And uh, also stylistically, they do not really fit with the rest of the library. But uh, I think if you if you write the appropriate music for them, they might bring some joy to you. So let me play the first trumpet. And as I said, for the second trumpet, we not only have the legato and sustains, but we also uh, have recorded a staccatissimo and two mercato lengths uh, in this style. To show you this, I've prepared an example which makes use of all four of those articulations. Okay, let's get back to the serious business again. We also recorded trills, half tone and whole tone trills for the trumpets as well as for the horns in the tuba. And uh, you get them in two dynamic layers and they are basically playable in the in the trills orchestrator patch. So you press the first note and then the second note and then the script decides which trill should be played. So now I will play you two trilled chords with the three trumpets. Then we also have our standard set of dynamics, short and long crescendo, short and long swell, and forte piano. This is the same as with the horns, two dynamic layers, and also the same length. So here comes the example. we also have the playable runs patch for the trumpets uh, especially with the second trumpets they can get very very powerful so this is a little phrase just uh, with the second trumpet 
And then if you use all three trumpets, you can also do those uh, parallel chord runs that a very famous film composer from the United States sometimes utilizes. Okay, let's move on to the repetitions. Again, just like with the horns, we have sixteenths and triplets repetitions, both both short and long. Uh, this time I've prepared a little example which uses them together with, with staccatos at the end of each repetition to emphasize uh, the, the last note, so uh, the whole thing gets an upbeat uh, kind of feel. We, we recorded those uh, repetitions in, in different tempi, so they can also perform uh, very fast. And of course you also have uh, all the release triggers and uh, stuff going on. It can be tempo synced, you can set your own tempo in cap, so you can automate everything or control it with the CC. Those patches can be really powerful in combination with other shorts and other articulations. Okay, that's it uh, for the trumpets of the Berlin Brass main collection. As in every video, we will have a little bedtime candy for the end, and I think especially in this case with the trumpets, it, it might uh, really deserve that title. So goodbye and see you next time.